hello guys welcome in today's video we are going to use a split and join method with list data type so first let's talk about a split method a split method so to understand a split method uh, let's consider an example i am going to create a variable called user info so user info takes the information of the user in a string data type so i am going to insert my name and my age and then i am using this method dot split so this is the syntax this is the basic syntax of this split method as you can see here if I am going to print this variable in output. You can see here this string converts into list data type. So the first use of a split method is that it can convert ordinary string data type into list data type. So the another thing we can consider example. Another example of a split method is that we can also use in that way. So I am going to create F1, F2 and F3. These are the three fruits name. So we can uh, insert each value single, F single for F1, single for F2 and single value for F3 by using a split method also. So we can directly write here in a string apples, pears, and we have bananas. So, and then we can use a split method here as we discussed previous, but this time uh, we have to write comma. So comma indicates that they are split after the comma. So the apple will be insert in F1, pears will be insert in F2 and bananas will be insert in F3 if I execute this program. So as you can see, if I print just F3 here, if I just print F3, so you will see the output will appear banana. So as you can see here, bananas will appear. So, as I again print F2 and print F1. So, as I run this program, you can see here bananas, pears and apples. So, we, by using a split method, we can also insert each variable for its each unique value. So let's discuss about another method we have, join method. So the join method uh, we can only use in a string data type. We cannot use in any other data type. So the join method can convert, uh, can merge our list string into a string data type. So what I want to say is that I am going to create a variable user info again and this time I am going to insert the value in list data type. So we have my name and my age. All right. So we can directly print here. The syntax is slightly different. So first we have to write comma uh, because uh, the value is separated here from by the comma. And then we can dot join. So this is the basic syntax here and then we can write the variable name. So as I run this program, you can see here uh, the list or uh, the list data type convert into a string data type by using join method. Uh, the, first, uh, the first problem is that uh, we can only use join method only for the string data type. Uh, so if I so if we, if I want to 
write my age in integer data type so if i run this program it will generate an error you can see here the type error uh, the error said that sequence item 1 accept a string instance so it cannot use it can only use a string data type so uh, it but the integer is found so we cannot use integer on any other data type in join method so join method is only for a string data type all right so as i again run this program you can see it appears correct so that's all for today i hope you like this video if you like this video please do not forget to hit the like button and subscribe our channel for more videos thank you very much for watching